what is up guys how are we all doing and welcome back to the channel today we have nuke stop five five ghost videos scarier than yo mama okay now this is a brand new one this a uh, brand new brand new nuke stop five uploaded a video yesterday and i haven't reacted to it so today is that day now without further ado thank you for clicking this video and thank you for watching and thank you for getting scared with me now let's get this reaction going Nuke stop five, baby. Top five ghosts. Let's see if camera. it's better than the previous one. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Ooh, TikTok. Paranormal investigator Bradford from the YouTube channel The Haunted Lair travels okay. to the abandoned Lakeville State Hospital in Massachusetts. The hospital opened in 1910 and served as a sanatorium to treat patients suffering from tuberculosis and other chronic and crippling conditions. Okay. Sadly, the patient list included many abandoned and orphaned children who were often oh, terribly man. mistreated by the hospital staff. It is rumored that many of these children were buried on the hospital grounds in unmarked graves. Lakeville Hospital was closed no. in 1993. The large property has been left empty and abandoned ever since. The old unmarked hospital graves? is believed to be haunted by the patients that who passed away inside its walls. Bradford is joined by his friend Nikki as they explore the creepy hospital. When they find the morgue, Bradford decides wow. to lay down inside one of the morgue's empty body storage lockers. No way. As he's laying there, he experiences something absolutely chilling. Make some kind of banging noise. Nikki, do you hear that banging noise? banging noise I'm not moving and it's in the same bed as me dude who's here with me you really can't hear that Nikki I don't hear banging noise That is so you're spooky, have, like, though. You're minutes of shit you're trying to listen to right now. Yo, what was that? What was that? What was that? Did you see that? It was um, right over here. Are you walking around right now? Nikki? I'm right here. You're not moving? I'm Did you right see the here. shadow? I legit just had a shadow at the bottom of my feet. Yeah, exactly. Bradford begins to hear a strange tapping sound coming from somewhere nearby, somewhere inside the morgue body locker with him. But things get even stranger as he sees what appears to be a small shadow-like apparition moving upwards yeah. and out of sight. Ooh. He immediately asks his friend Nikki if she's moving around or possibly casting a shadow, but she quickly says that she hasn't moved an inch, and even in the recording we can hear that there's no sound of anyone moving. Yo, it, it looked like it was crawling up. Mm. Um, are you walking around right now? Nikki? I'm right here. You're not moving? I'm right here. My feet haven't moved. So is the Lakeville State Hospital haunted wow. by the patients who passed away there? Let me know what you think. Bradford Yo, shared his creepy clips on TikTok. Creepy. And you can also see his full exploration of the Lakeview Hospital on his YouTube channel, The Haunted Lair. German TikTok user Arvin.de wow. travels to the hometown of one of the most well-known exorcism cases of all time, that of Annalise Mickles. In 1975, Annalise Mickles' family claimed that she demonstrated strange behavior and dark supernatural abilities. Okay. Even Annalise herself claimed that she was possessed by a demon. The church was called in and Annalise Mickles went through a total of 67 exorcisms. 67. She passed away under mysterious circumstances in her home at the age of 23. Damn. German TikToker Arvin finds a cabin that is said to have belonged to the Mickles family. When he records the inside of the cabin for his TikTok page, he has no idea that he's being watched by something. Okay. Auto check removed due to copyright. Okay.
Yo, did you see that? Did you see it? When Arvin pans his Yo. camera, a face can be seen quickly moving away from a hole in the cabin ceiling. Arvin says he has no idea what this creepy face could be, and he only noticed it after TikTok viewers pointed it out. So, is it a real face? Is it a trick of the light? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Why do you the decide. eyes light up like that? When the lights go out. That is crazy. Abby Hernandez Alvarez claims that his... Imagine exploring a building and you see a face like that. That is creepy as hell. ...apartment in Mexico City is extremely haunted by a vengeful female spirit. Now for over a year he has been documenting the terrifying encounters that he says take place in his apartment on a daily basis. Okay, on Nuke's okay. Top 5 I've featured his continuing strange story several times. Yeah, we've seen so it. We've let's seen take it. a very quick look back. Okay. Quick little recap. Oh. Oh. Yep, and nothing there. Even creepier, Abiud has had some chilling physical encounters with the spirit that haunts his apartment, including the disturbing sound of high heels walking through his home when no one else is there. That definitely sounded like, like high heels. Whoa, uh, and he has mm. even caught the apparition on camera. But oddly enough, up to this point, the specter has only appeared in the reflection of mirrors throughout his house. Once in his bedroom mirror. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We saw that. We saw that. We saw that. And then again, the ghost was caught on camera in a mirror in his living room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we saw that. We saw that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At first, when this began in early 2020, Abiud said that he didn't mind the mild paranormal occurrences around his home. In fact, he said that he simply found them intriguing, but not necessarily scary. However, since then, things have taken a terrifying turn. The haunting in his yeah, home has become be much more violent and extreme. Shitless. And at okay. this point, Abud says that the strange experiences and loud sounds have become so intense that he can't even sleep at night. Okay. Abud recently uploaded an all new video where he documents a supernatural experience in his home. The late night encounter is absolutely terrifying. Okay, okay. I'm interested, I'm intrigued. Uh, the mirrors, 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 mirrors. Hmm. Okay, okay, so at least the mirror is gone. Don't get blurry now. Stuff happens when it gets blurry. That ain't normal. That was quiet a second ago. A uh, mirror, mirror. Oh, okay, okay. I'm expecting something to happen, something terrifying. Okay, so far so good. Okay, that ain't normal either. That, that ain't normal either. Whoa, Whoa. okay. The dog's barking. The, the dogs picked up something. Okay, cut for time. Okay, okay. Yo, 
this isn't. Yo, I hear the footsteps. I hear them high heels. That's a teddy. Okay. What? What? Dramatic music, but... Okay, we know that she loves the teddy. We know that from the previous footage. Uh, mirrors, 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 mirrors. Hmm, okay. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay, woman, show yourself. I'm ready for it. Yo, did that teddy just lay down? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. I saw her. I saw her. I think I saw her. Okay. I thought I saw her. Hey, she was like, don't mess with my teddy bear, okay? That was up close and personal. Wow. Yo, the, the heels again. The heels. Yo, if this doesn't scare you in your own house, then I don't know what does. I would cry. I would cry too. Abby Ute experiences a power outage in his home, which is mentioned in previous videos often occurs when the supernatural activity becomes very extreme. So he grabs his camera and starts to record. Wow. He experiences a few chilling events. I need a drink. But then he once again hears the loud clack of high-heeled shoes on his floor. The footsteps seem to be coming closer and closer. Yep. When Abby Ute turns around, he is shocked to see the horrifying yeah. figure of a woman. A woman who seems to be wow. creepily smiling yeah. back at him. The apparition disappears into thin air and soon after the lights in Abby Ood's apartment Whoa. come back on and he cuts the camera. Now, after carefully reviewing and enhancing the footage in this video, I discovered another creepy event okay. that most okay. viewers okay. didn't even notice. Even when the video is brightened and slowed down, the strange occurrence is still a little hard to make out. So, did you see it? There's a teddy bear sitting in a chair in the yeah. corner of the okay, room. Okay, okay. But when Abby Ood pans toward a mirror, the teddy bear is not there in the mirror's reflection. Then, as he pans back toward the chair, the bear is still there. Wow. But it seems to have shifted into a different position. This is just seconds before the terrifying apparition of a woman is caught on camera. Yeah. So, Damn. just what do you think happened to Abby Ood Hernandez Alvarez in this Mexico City apartment? Is he capturing real paranormal evidence of a terrifying haunting? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? No, this is 100% real. 100% real. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, this contact me at nukes.top5 at gmail.com. Nukes I've ever seen. on CCTV. This first wow. video was recorded by a security camera on a very rainy <laughs> night in Iguatu, Brazil. Okay, so there's a woman and a truck. The footage shows a mysterious woman who looks very confused as she's crossing a rain flooded road. What yeah. makes the footage so strange is that the woman seems to be slowly disappearing. She looks incredibly pale and is walking through the heavy rainstorm with hardly any clothing. And eventually, she just disappears. Now, normally I would just dismiss this clip as some strange video compression artifact, and I'd probably say that the digital camera nah, just wasn't nah, keeping nah, up nah, with nah. her movements. However, a few moments later in the video, a motorcycle speeds down the same road. Unlike the woman, the motorcycle is completely visible, even though it's traveling at a very fast speed. Likewise, the truck in the footage is completely clear. Brazilian video experts Not are baffled really, by the bizarre footage. However, 
look, 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 look. Over here, you can see clearly that the wheel is vanishing too. So this might be just one huge, like, water drop. I think that's what it is. This is just one buildup of water on the probably on the lens so because the truck is about to vanish as well over here and then when the truck leaves it leaves just about here so you can see the truck clearly so i think that's what the it locals is. believe that the strange woman might be the ghost of someone who lost her life on this small stretch of road now nah. and their arguments are fairly compelling because just why was this woman walking around out in a storm in the middle of the night see that see the wheel in the middle of nowhere on a dangerously flooded road. Because you can't Let see me the know you fall either. Nukestop 5 viewer Jesse Worthington Let emailed me directly about a video he recorded of some bizarre CCTV security footage. The video okay. shows something okay. Jesse and his friend Sarah just can't explain. And I can't really explain it either. Now just let it play normal. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Show us. Show us the goods. Whoa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whoa. Yeah. Look how tall they are. Whoa. What? That ain't nothing. Wait till she slows it up. You see the face. Right there. That was a face. No, not uh -huh. yet. A face. There it was. It's coming right, right there. there. Yeah, yeah, it was. See right, right there. there. Whoa. Yeah. Yo, what is that? I want a shot from this too. When we get, when we do. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that ain't nothing. Yeah, hey. Hey. Yo, what is that? Are those like, like maybe some flashlights pointing at the camera? Right. There. See that? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the recording shows a bright light seemingly peeking from behind a house in a suburban neighborhood. The bright abnormality changes shape as it appears multiple times. Then it seems to morph into two separate lights and just floats away and disappears. A group of friends watch in disbelief. Jesse thinks that it might be some kind of entity accidentally captured on CCTV. As for me, I've honestly never seen anything like this. No, but not just really. what do you think? Could it be swamp gas, ball lightning, a very odd electrical discharge, or something else entirely? Let me know down in the comments. I don't know, it's weird. I've Another never, video cap. I've never seen anything like that before. Could be just a couple of people just holding a flashlight towards the camera to make a fake video. Could be. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, though. Put it in the comments. I Captured on CCTV, Reddit user Lazy Ray Scallion explains that her cousin sent her a creepy Lazy video Ray? that was recorded in the conference room of a casino in her hometown. Redditor Lazy Ray Scallion also claims that human remains were found during the construction of the casino in which the conference room is located. The video is chilling. Okay. Okay, so we've got a shadow figure. Just as the clock hits the midnight hour, a shadow-like transparent figure can be seen walking from one door to the other in the back of the conference room. Again, I might dismiss this video as a camera glitch, but notice that the figure seems to appear through a closed door. Oh, and that's true. Yeah. Through another closed door, it which makes chills, the footage but... very compelling. Not as spooky as, the, as the one before. Or <laughs> is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. A scary night at the movies. In this next video, popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long and his friend Xiao Shen are exploring an old theater in northern China that has been abandoned for at least 40 years. Okay, the two okay. friends find old machinery, projectors, and films dating back to the 1980s. It's unclear why the large theater was abandoned or why so much expensive and collectible film equipment was left behind. As they explore the creepy building, the two ghost hunters try to lighten the mood and joke around as they find the women's restroom. Okay. W O Mans. T O I L. Are you a woman? 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 Are you a
you ready? We are here. Woman, we are here. <laughs> Welcome to Nisha's room. Uh, Yo. Xiaolong and his friends speak English as they jokingly call out to the spirits that might be lingering inside the theater. Or at least the ones lingering in the women's restroom. But after the fun and games, things start to get a bit creepy. Okay. When they find the seating area and explore the theater's enormous stage, something seems to be there with them. Oh. Something terrifying. Okay. Okay, so it got cold real quick. That ain't a good sign. What? What is what? Oh, Yo, what? Yo, what the heck? Yo, that was weird. Xiaolong and Xiaoxin watch in horror as two mysterious unexplained figures appear right behind the theater screen. When they run to investigate, there's no one there. They search, but they Nothing can't find there. a logical explanation a, for like, what they just saw. Something. And then things go from bad to worse. <laughs> from bad to worse. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I gotta see this. Okay. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Yo! All the wow! Say ah! Say! Oh, there is something there. What's up, Nima? Yo, they are scared and fearless at the same time. What's up, Say! <laughs> Yo, kick the door, kick the door. Oh, okay, 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 This is tense. Yo, there's a key in it. Okay, so no other way out of that room. The entire front row of the theater wow. seats flip down on their own and then the theater door closes. The two friends are then led on a wild goose chase as they pursue something that seems to slam doors shut right in front of them. Unable to find the source of the strange activity, they return to the theater's seating area. Okay, okay, so they went back. Yo, is there something in the window? Did you see that? Whoa! Yo! Wow! Okay! 
A pale figure seems to be watching them from one of the windows on the third floor. They charge up the stairs, but the mysterious apparition has disappeared. Back in the seating area, they demand the presence show itself, oh, even going so far as to call the ghost a coward. No. It did not go well. Whoa, it's what I Okay, okay, okay. Here it goes. What? Just to explain, I believe like uh, they scream and say that kind of stuff because that's the way they defend themselves from the entities or demons or spirits or how you want to call them. So I believe that's why the reason that's the reason why uh, they say that. Just to let you know. Like they have to be aggressive towards it. A small bucket lying on the floor seems to move on its own. So obviously they proceed to kick that bucket's ass. Yep. <laughs> as you do when there's a haunted bucket. <laughs> but then things get much more serious and okay. downright terrifying. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Upstairs? <laughs> Okay, but what? 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 Yo! Wow! That ain't normal. That ain't normal. <laughs> Yo, thank God they have their cameras. Whoa, 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 whoa. Even though there doesn't seem to be any electricity in the rest of the building, the theater lights seem to be powered and suddenly turn on by themselves. Okay. Oh, even I didn't more even horrifying, they illuminate no less than six dark shadowy figures lurking in the seating area, wow. seemingly watching Xiao Long and his friend from the darkness. The two explorers are absolutely horrified, but things get even worse when all the lights suddenly turn off, including the explorer's handheld flashlights. Once Xiao Long gets his flashlight working again, the two make a run for it. You can watch this full exploration over on the YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiao Long. And by wow. the way, I wanted to say there was a fake YouTube channel pretending to be Xiao Long's official channel. Okay. Hello, I'm Huai Xiaolong. Here I'm going to show you the name of Huai Xiaolong Tiefer Pier. You've already violated my rights, my rights, my rights, and my rights. Please immediately stop your rights. So if you were subbed to the other channel, wow. definitely go subscribe to his real YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. Yeah, and there are all new videos the there, channel. and they even have English subtitles. The Belshaw House Haunting. Okay, last one, last in one. In the 1870s, in the small California mining town of Cerro Gordo, California, two children California. were playing hide and seek in the house of wealthy California. local businessman Mortimer Belshaw while he was out. The children hid in a large steamer truck in the master bedroom when the latch became stuck, trapping okay. them inside. Tragically, the two scary. children suffocated inside the steamer trunk. That is Cut deadly. to modern day. Visitors and workers at the historic Belshaw House in Cerro Gordo claim that the ghosts of the two children still haunt the home. Sometimes wow. people hear the sound of children laughing and running. That's so but sad. But other man. times, they hear terrifying screams and banging. Many visitors who have slept in the master bedroom claim to have felt a strange, heavy pressure on their chest. So, friends Brandon, Corey, Corbin, Elton, and Matt from the YouTube channel TFIL traveled to Cerro Gordo to spend the night investigating the creepy Belshaw house. Okay. The group okay. decides to leave Corey and Matt all alone in the allegedly extremely haunted master bedroom. Wow. It did not 
go well. You have to be crazy Matt going lies there down on the bed and is surrounded yourself. by cat bell toys that shine colorful lights when touched or moved. Corey like you know sits down next to the there, bed and the two investigators begin really to there, ask questions you know? directed at any spirits that might be haunting the old home. A static camera records as they soon begin to experience some very creepy activity. If there's anyone here with us, can you give us a sign? Okay, so there's another guy with them. Okay, okay, that's good. Wow. Did you just f***ing hear that? What'd you hear? You're joking. What'd you hear? Dude, what'd you hear? Over there. What'd you hear? Where all the nights were all... I felt, I felt like I heard a... It or something, dude. Oh my god, I thought, I thought for sure I, I was making that you up. You just said, can you give us a sign? And it goes, I thought for sure I made that up. Like, I thought for sure I was like, like, you heard that in your head. Yeah. No, I heard that. Wow, that okay, you, okay. Could you give us a knock or maybe light up one of these balls on the bed? Are you hearing this over here? I didn't hear that one. Dude, I'm freaking out, bro. If you were a boy, can you knock one time? And if you are a girl, can you knock two times? You heard that shit uh, That was here. once. You that, that was that? once. You heard that, right? I thought it was one. Corey and Matt both hear a strange sound that seems like a deep breath. Not once, but twice. The creepy EVP is then followed by the unexplained sound of knocking. The two friends begin to get a bit freaked out by what they are hearing in the dark room. And then, things get much worse. Okay, okay. Yo, did you see that? On the right? What? Something just pulled my chair. Oh, dude, are you serious? And then something just pulled my shirt. Are you serious? Whoa, dude. No. I'm not even kidding. Are you serious? I, was this open? Yeah, yeah, that was open. That was open. Dude, something. I felt the chair go like that, and then as I stand up, I feel my jacket go like, like, like that. Hour, was it? Yo, oh. I saw that before and it the chair happened was to like him. This. I'm not even kidding. Like as I'm. There was like on, a I small mist or something. Corey jumps up, saying that he felt like the chair he was sitting on was being moved around and that something was pulling at his jacket. What the two don't know is that the static camera in the room captured something that they couldn't see. Yep. yep. Something absolutely terrifying. So, did you see it? On the right, over Right here. before Corey jumps up, a strange white figure can be seen floating towards him and then disappearing into thin air. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to think of this bizarre figure other than to say that it does look very odd. Yeah. So I leave it up to you to decide. Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It looked like it was laying on its back and then crawling towards that guy. That was weird. Either this is good editing or this is real. But, wow. You decide. You can check out this full video over on the YouTube channel, TFIL. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter right there. Yeah, buddy. Hey, these were some freaky clips, okay? Whew. I got scared a couple of times. Hey, this was a good video. This might be the most terrifying video of Nukesta 5 I've ever seen. If you like the video, then hit the like button, all right? Subscribe for more content and put the notification bell on to not miss a single upload that I do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.